In this video we're going to look at how to do a four figure area reference which is going to help us to locate points on a map. If you watched the video about the elements of a map you would have seen this map of Mission Island before. Now we've put a grid on it and it's going to help us to locate specific places on, uh, that are on this map. When you see maps like this, they will often have numbers along the bottom and up the side. So here's what a map of Mission Island might look like with those numbers in place. You'll see there are two sets of numbers. The first set of numbers, they're along the bottom of the map in this case. They might appear along the bottom or along the top. But the numbers get larger as you move to the east. And so these numbers are called eastings. The numbers which are up the side, and they could be on the left or the right hand side, they're on the right hand side in this case, they get larger as you move towards the north. So these numbers are called northings. So we have eastings along the bottom getting larger as we go towards the east, and northings which are going, getting larger as we move north. Each of the numbers refers to one of the, uh, one of the lines on the grid. And so the easting of 19 refers to the red line that is there. And the northing of 62 refers to the horizontal red line. We're going to put together these numbers to figure out how to work out an area reference. But before we do that, we just want to get an image in our head of something like this, of a long corridor with a set of stairs at the end. That's going to be helpful to make sure that we know which order we do our eastings and our northings. So if I was talking about point A on the map, I need to recognise that I've got two numbers there. I've got the 19, which is my easting, and the 62, which is my northing. And if I remember what the uh, what the picture was, it says that I need to move along the corridor before I can go up the stairs. And so if I go along first, I end up at number 19. So 19 comes first, and then I go up the stairs until I reach 62. A four-figure area reference will give us an indication of a part of the map in which we will find something. So we're going to have a look at this city here. And obviously this city is in this area here. So this city is in this box. Now we just have to figure out how do we use these numbers to say which, uh, what, where that box is located. And there are two main steps that we need to do. Step one, whenever we're doing area references, we need to start at the bottom left corner of the box. So on this box here, the bottom left corner is just there. When we look at the bottom left corner, we're going to see that there are two numbers uh, which relate to that point. The first one is down here, our easting is 18. And over here, our northing is 62. And the second thing we need to remember is that we have to go along the corridor, then up the stairs. Just like in the picture we saw, we always have to remember to go along the corridor first, and then up the stairs afterwards. So that means that we move along our eastings until we reach where we're going, which is 18. And then we go up the stairs to 62. And the area reference for this shaded area is 1862. And you remember at the start we said that we're looking at four figure area references. So the four figure area reference for that area just there is 1862. It's obviously very important that we remember our two rules. If you didn't use the bottom left corner, if instead of the bottom left corner you use the top right corner, you would have written 1963 and that would be incorrect. 
Also, the second rule that we have to go along the corridor then up the stairs is important. If you didn't do that, you would have said 6218, and that is also incorrect. So the answer is always in the bottom left corner, going across the corridor and then up the stairs, and that will lead to the area of 1862. So I'll do a quick practice to make sure that you've understood this. I want you to have a look at area A and figure out what the area reference for it is. So you should have looked along the bottom first. Oh, actually, you should have first of all looked at this bottom left-hand corner. Then you should have looked along the bottom until you reach 22 and then up the side until you reach 64. So the area reference for A is 2264. Now you have a go and see if you can figure out what the area reference for B is. So the area reference for B, bottom left hand corner, go along the corridor to 24, up the stairs, to 61, so the area reference for B is 2461. Okay, and one harder one, we're just going to do this as a harder one. If you don't get this one right, that's fine, uh, because this one is a little bit more difficult to figure out. But what is the area reference for the purple C? Okay, so I need to start in this bottom left hand corner. Now, the easting for C is along this line here. Now, we don't have a number on that, but we should be able to figure out pretty easily that if this is 17 and this is 16, then this easting here must be 15. So the first two digits of C is 1, 5, and then the northing is this line here. Okay, and so it's one short of 59, so this northing down here must be 58, and so the area reference for C is 1558. So that's how you do an area reference. Remember the two rules. Go along to the bottom left-hand corner first, and then go along the corridor, get your first number, then go up the stairs and get your second number. The area reference will show us a, an area of the map, but sometimes we want to be more specific than that. So the next video is going to look at a six-figure grid reference, which is a more specific way of locating a position on a map.